Have you ever worked in an application where you have multiple windows open? Let's say in Safari, you end up with a lot of Safari windows open. You could be browsing a bunch of different websites and then need to close all the windows at one time. Or you might need to minimize them. You could drive yourself crazy clicking the red or yellow button. Or if you hold the option key, you can click one or the other and it will do it to every window in that application. You could click to restore all the minimized windows or hold option and click one and it will restore all the windows at the same time. Again, you can hold the option key while clicking the red button to close all the windows at one time. It works the same way in Safari or any other application that has multiple windows. Again, hold option and click the red button. If you don't even want to use the mouse, you can hold command and option at the same time and press the W key. Command W closes a window. Command Option W closes all windows at the same time. Are you wanting to show off your Mac to your friends? Something like Launchpad or Mission Control. If you have multiple windows open, you can show them all at one time. Or, if you really want to be cool, hold the Shift key while clicking Mission Control or anything else that has animation. Holding the Shift key causes the animation to move in slow motion. This works with almost all animation, including the minimize. If you have multiple applications open and you want to quickly close all the applications, hitting Command Tab brings up the application switcher. As long as you're holding the Command key, the application switcher will stay up. You can then hit Tab to cycle between the applications. When you let go of the Command key, that application comes to the front. To quit the applications, hold the command key, tap tab to bring up the switcher, and then tap Q. This will go through and quit the applications. Remember, you can't quit Finder. If you have a bunch of files you need to send to somebody, or just compress and keep together, you can quickly create an archive. Find some files you would like to compress. You can hold the Shift key, to select a range, and then secondary click and choose Compress. An archive is created with a ZIP extension. You can then move this entire archive around. You can even transfer it to other operating systems like Windows, as ZIP files are fully compatible with the Windows operating system. To open a zip file on the Mac, double click. The files are then decompressed into a folder called Archive. To move a file to the trash quickly, press Command Delete. Whenever I unarchive a zip file, I would like for that archive file to go away. In Mountain Lion, it's the default behavior to keep the archive file. You can change this by making a preference change in the archive utility. You can find the archive utility at the root level of the hard drive, System, Library, Core Services folder. You can jump there quickly by pressing Command Shift G, or from the Go menu, choose Go to Folder. Type forward slash to indicate the root level of the hard drive, and then type a couple letters and press Tab to autofill. In this case, I type SYS Tab, L Tab, C O R E Tab. I'll click Go and double click the archive utility. The archive utility doesn't have an interface, but it does have preferences. In the preferences, I can choose where to save the expanded files. So if I like, I can choose a folder that I want all archives to expand to. And then after it expands, I can choose where to leave the archive. So I'll say move to trash. Now if I double click my archive, it opens the folder, and the archive is gone. I'll recompress my archive, and now instead of moving it to the trash, I would like to move it to a folder in my Documents folder. I don't have that folder yet, so I'll create it in Documents. I'll call this Backup, and then a folder called Zip Backups. So now when I double-click Archive.zip, I would like it to automatically move to this folder. 
Using the archive utility, I can say after expanding, move the archive to, and now I need to navigate to this folder. I can quickly set my dialog box to this folder by clicking and holding on the folder of the top of the window and dragging it into this window. It immediately jumps to this folder. Now when I double click archive zip, I can see the zip file has been moved to the zip backups. Since archive was already on the desktop, it created archive too. You can use this trick in almost any dialog box. From Launchpad, I'll open TextEdit. I'll create a new document and choose Save. It asks me where I would like to save this document and what I would like to call it. I'll navigate back to my Documents folder by pressing Command Up, and I'll call this My New Doc Version 3. I can drag My New Doc Version 2 into this window, and it sets the same destination and the same name as the file I dragged in. I can then change the name to version 3. If I forgot where I saved a file, maybe I opened it from Spotlight, I can hold the Command key while clicking this icon. I can see the path to this file. I can also select any folder within the path to go directly to that folder. Again, I'll quickly close all my windows by hitting Command Option W and quit text edit by pressing Command Q. I'll then select both folders by marquee selecting and pressing Command Delete. I can quickly empty the trash without a warning by pressing Command Option Shift Delete. Keep in mind this empties the trash without warning. 